Hello and welcome to a Minecraft adventure with me Balfellion. I've thought about doing a, uh, a Minecraft series for a while now and I've just been pondering uh, how I wanted to actually do this but uh, I thought I'd decide to do a bit of an action you one. So I'm playing the Yogbox mod uh, which is available through the Technic launcher. Um, it has been discontinued but it is bloody good fun. Um, until it all goes horribly wrong, then I'll probably be cursing and swearing at the game. But uh, there's plenty of interesting mods in the thing. Uh, you don't have to uh, to uh, download and install them all yourself. It's literally just run the launcher, and it does everything else for you. And there's loads of differences between this and the normal Minecraft. But, uh, the first difference you probably noticed is I'm using a different texture pack, which is uh, um, Massive Craft Medieval. If I remember correctly, but, uh, I might change it to a different one at some other point, but that's just the one that is already on. But, uh, yeah, we've we've spawned after whatever got us in this world, maybe a boat wreck or something, um, next to some sort of village. Um, I'm not entirely sure what village they are, what uh, nationality. But as you can see, there's uh, new types of NPCs. With names and stuff, and they're just resting in the uh, the farm there for some reason. Um, I've got to try and relearn how to interact with these guys, but uh, uh, okay, that's gone off the edge of the sign. Uh, Abai de Villiers Canvet. Abai Isilei Population Free. Okay, so they sound French. Um, oh, hello. Um, you're selling me something. Um, so yeah, there is currency in this game that you can use to trade with these people. But we don't have any currency. But uh, they buy stone, and they'll give me money for it. And I can use that money to redeem it against any of these. I have no idea what tribes are. But uh, there's various uh, types of villages around the world that are going to spawn as part of the uh, the millionaire mob. Um, I can't steal from them. But uh, they, they actually uh, do some really cool stuff. But um, there's there's four types of uh, uh, nationalities in this. There's Normans, Mayans, um, yeah, Norman, Mayan, Japanese, and Hindi. But uh, we spawned literally right next to these guys, so you might have to be, be a pro French. Uh, player, but uh, that's one of the cool mods in here. And another one is called Mo Creatures, and I want to get out of this river. It's not safe. There's a stingray there, if you can see that. But uh, they poison you if you get too close, which is not nice. Uh, if you kill him, ah, oh. if you kill the uh, stingrays, you can get some uh, slime. I think sometimes. some horses over here and there's some sharks that have somehow gotten into the river um, as you can probably guess sharks are hostile mobs even though on our mini-map they come up as green which is supposed to be non-hostile mob but, uh, let's quickly nip over here before the shark comes there's some horses which you can actually uh, tame and ride around die shark Yes, you can also hear they also make loads of funny noises. Ha ha! I've beached you! What are you going to do now? Shark tooth, lovely. Um, you can make stuff out of those, but I'm not entirely sure on what at the moment. What is that? It's not the horse. More sharks. But, um. Ah, oh, there we are. It's a cat. God. That cat fought back. That's not good. But as you as you'll notice, we've only got three hearts at the moment, so we're starting off uh, Legend of Zelda style. Unlike in uh, normal Minecraft, where you start with ten hearts and only have ten hearts. Um, bears don't like chickens. 
as you've just seen. Um, but same thing as normal Minecraft, we want to start off by gathering some uh, materials. So, some wood. Um, anything else nearby of interest? No. Um, ah, there is a silver tree. These have special magical properties, these ones. But uh, we don't want to destroy those just yet. Because if we start dabbling in the dark arts, we are uh, going to need those alive. Uh, there seems to be something over here. Yes, there's an obelisk. Now, we can't really do much uh, with these at the moment. But uh, once we start getting our tech up, we can actually explore the secret uh, things that lie below these chambers. Um, it's making sinister noises. But uh, we should be able to add some map markers. If I can find. There we go. Uh, that was the apostrophe key. Waypoints. Add. Obelisk. What colour should we make those? We'll make those bright red. Which then puts a map mark on our screen. So we can easily find that. It also puts it on the, the mini map. A nice little diamond there. But, uh, there's some sort of hostile mob to the east of us. Let's go have a look. Because there's plenty of uh, strange new creatures being added into this, and I'm playing it on hard, which uh, I might regret at some point because we're still going to start getting Satan and all kinds of nasty things appearing. Um, but I've <laughs> whoops, I keep forgetting I've only got three hearts. This is probably a terrible idea. Um, yeah, wooden pickaxe can mine coal. That's all right. But, uh, time is getting on. Don't want to stray too far from that village since that's our only safe uh, safe point at the moment. Um, we're going to want a uh, special pickaxe, so let's get some wood. Put the crafting table. Um, some sticks. Damn it! Can only build one. Um, oh, it'll do. Uh, wrong one. There we go. Uh, so we need a stone pickaxe to mine the iron, which is this one. Get some coal so we can make some torches and uh, cook some food and stuff. Quite a lot of this coal. Okay, got that. Um, in fact, yeah, I've got all this armor that uh, I didn't have before I equipped. Um, if you can't tell, I'm meant to be uh, Rob Stark from Game of Thrones at the moment. So, <laughs> rather fittingly, I've got a uh, a wolf hat, which is uh, <laughs> quite suitable for house stock, but uh, we don't have any axes, do we? Let's build a new axe. Oh, that's a hoe. I need three. Damn it. Um, there we go. Uh, Shovel, sword. Um, how do we get out of this hole? <laughs> this is terrible. Um, but uh, certainly, if you can find a village on your first day, uh, the sun is going down now. Certainly, a good place to uh, to start your adventure. Otherwise, you are going to need to quickly build a hut out of there, uh, whatever you can, or just dig a hole to uh, survive the night. Because, of course, once it gets dark, the monsters come out. 
And I think there's another obelisk over there. Um, I might regret this. Yes, there is. Right, quick. Make that red. But you get some uh, amazing treasures at the bottom of those things. Once you learn the magics to open them. Uh, sheep. I should probably kill these. And use them to get some wool. Come here. Need at least free wool. Uh, there's a black sheep. There we go. That'll do. That should make life a bit more interesting because we can build a bed and just sleep through the night now. Uh, where are we going? Almost there. Uh, yeah, the uh, the silver silver wood trees actually glow, which is quite nice. But, uh, there's a zombie. Oh crap! Come here. Die, bitch. There we go. Um, there's something else. Oh shit, it's a... Can we zoom in? There we can. It's a ghost. And they fly. Um, they're not very nice. Actually, I don't think that one has a ranged attack, so uh, let's go for him. Come on then. Come on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Ow! There we go. And ghosts drop uh, sulfur. Your life has increased by one and is now fully replenished. Hooray! We've leveled up. Um, yeah, once you level up to a certain level, uh, in which case we're five, I think it's every five levels you get a new heart unlocked. But uh, once you've unlocked a heart, even if you die, you'll respawn with the same number of hearts. But uh, you just need to get a new high score level to, uh, to um, progress further. And there's a skeleton archer! Oh god no! Jesus fucking Christ, that, that skeleton arch is a lethal uh, early game, you just saw it took off two hearts and I'm wearing armour. Um, so yeah, that could that could have gone a bit worse. Um, all these villages are holed up inside. Um, luckily, they have uh, a wall around their place, but uh, we've destroyed some of that, so let's uh, quickly repair the fortifications. Um, as well as the different cultures of uh, the uh, the villagers, um, they actually have a cow pen, but the cows are escaping. Um, okay. Um, there is also different type of villages, so you can have like um, like a kind of a capital city, or a small village, or just like uh, one guy on his own in a hut in the middle of nowhere. Um, this is kind of just like a, a one building place, but he's got a shop, but uh, just three guys living here. They actually uh, can have pr uh, different professions as well. Um, I'll tell you what then, if th this is your house, I, I will, uh, I'll take this one as my, my place of residence. Um, I think we forgot to pick up the crafting table, but we've got plenty of wood. So let's just uh, put that down there. Um, make a bed. Free wood at the bottom. Two uh, wool. Or free wool. Doesn't matter which colours they are though, so that's alright. Uh, stick a bed down there. We hop in that. It will all fade to black and we'll sleep through the night till daytime again. So you now see in the top left, we're now on day one. Even though day zero should have been day one, but whatever. Um, what can we do now? Well, we're going to need more stone to build a furnace and they're doing something. Has he just killed the cow? He's just going running indoors with a with a steak. Oh well. But, uh, let's go exploring. Actually probably shouldn't go exploring just yet. Um, oh, I've got some apples. Let's eat the apples. That should uh, a hunger bar. 
up to full, so we'll slowly regenerate health. And what is that? What is that? What is that? Is that a baby cheetah? Hello. I'm not going to get uh, aggressive with that fella. Um, even though when he's an adult, he'll probably be quite aggressive to us. But, uh, it seems to be a, a, uh, a desert to our west. Um, some pigs over here. Let's kill those for some meat. Um, there's also a lot of uh, caves around this place. Oh, some scorpions. Uh, we don't like them. They're kind of uh, basically spiders. Behaving exactly the same way. Um, but some of them, when they die, they kind of split into uh, loads of baby scorpions. And they're just hard to kill just because they're so hard to aim at. So uh, you have to be careful when killing those that you don't get swarmed by the small ones. Come here, pig. That's, uh, there's also... Oh, hello, there's something on the map over here. Uh, there's a big map you can... Uh, I can hear a rat coming. Where is it? Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Oh, it must be in a cave. Um... Rats are just annoying little buggers. Um, hello, what's this? This looks suspicious, doesn't it? Let's go explore. Um, hopefully it's not full of angry uh, baddies, because we don't know who lives in this strange new world we've, uh, we've arrived in. Maybe we got got shipwrecked or something. <laughs> Even though I don't think we're actually anywhere near the shore, but whatever. Um, so what's in this tower then? It looks quite old. But, uh, we're not detecting any hostiles on our on our motion tracker. But, uh, is there? There's no button. <laughs> well, that's uh, scuppered that idea. Um, well, it probably hasn't. Um, ha ha! You weren't expecting that, were you? Now. Let's uh, just go downstairs. It kind of does, but it's gone a bit weird. Um, what's up here then? Oh god, it's getting dark. Um, just make a few torches. That'll do. Um, no, don't throw those away. Uh, this uh, this yellowy texture is sandstone. Um, oh, there's a ladder going upstairs. Ta-da! This is a pretty cool watchtower, actually. Um, it's not really big enough to establish as our base, and uh, at the minute, with uh, the villagers at that other place, it's probably preferable to stay there with those guys. But, uh, there's also a staircase going downstairs that was kind of half buried. Uh, something you need to know about this mod pack is that um, it goes, it's got the Better Dungeons mod in it. Which basically means there is lots of cool stuff going on. And uh, loads of dungeons and strange buildings and stuff that will uh, be procedurally generated as you explore. In this case we've found uh, some strange tower and at the bottom we can hear a load of zombies which is uh, not the best of starts. Oh Jesus Christ he's got diamond armour. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. The uh, I don't think this fella can get out here. He's got no pressure plate on his side. Ha ha! What you gonna do about it? Oh dear, is your hat broken? Come on, hurry up and die. God, sword's broken. Oh, 
Yeah, his armor's uh, broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, he's dropped something. Don't know what that was. Hang on. Um, where's that? Um, he dropped a glistering melon, which we can use for some potions later. But um, exploring this seems like it's probably a terrible idea. In all honesty, um, it seems to have merged with a uh, no no we're not going in there <laughs> as, as a spawner and bad noises and we've only got four hearts and crap armor and they've got diamond armor so let's uh, let's not do that that's um because this is um a now um discontinued mod pack they're not updating it anymore it does mean that it's uh, using an older version of vanilla minecraft i think it's uh 123 um, so some of the more recent updates to vanilla Minecraft won't be in this. Um, I'm not sure if that includes zombies breaking down doors on hard, because we're playing this on hard. Um, I did toy with the idea of uh, of playing uh, hardcore mode, but then I figured, uh, knowing my luck, I'm probably going to end up dying, and then if you die on hardcore mode, it's game over. So. I figured I'll stick with hard because there's going to be some ridiculously hard dungeons in this uh, once we get exploring and find them. But uh, there seems to be nothing particularly interesting visible on the map anyway, so uh, we'll start heading back to our village. Oh, hello, there's like a, a snow leopard. Um, I'm not sure if that's peaceful or not, so I'm not going to go too close to that. Um, These are some dolphins here. Uh, apart from the clicks, the easy way to tell if it's a dolphin or a shark is the dolphin have horizontal towels and the sharks have vertical towels. Uh, and they also try and eat you. It's uh, pretty much a bit of a dead giveaway. It's a shark, not a dolphin. There you go, there's a shark over here. Um, don't know, where's the sun? It's a bit cloudy today. Uh, okay, it's, it's getting nearly dark, so uh, do a little bit more exploring, see if we can see anything of interest. Um, probably should have added that tower to my waypoints, just so I know where it is, but uh, it's not too far from main base, that's alright. Oh, that sheep looks so retarded. Come here. Yeah, running and jumping when you're on ice makes you go really fast. Nice little tip there. Um, not a lot. And there's some pumpkins over here. Judging by those uh, orange dots on the map. I think we'll grab those and then uh, we'll head back before it gets too dark. Otherwise there will be uh, some nasty things going on. Come here, I want some bacon. can't hide behind that, it's not going to do you very well. Uh, some mushrooms, we'll take a few of those. Um, oh god, it is getting quite dark, isn't it? Ah, that's why it's lagging, It's, it's it was considering uh, building a new village. That's uh, a Norman culture. Uh, that's probably quite handy actually because we could do with um, stopping for the night. But this fella seems to be going around uh, collecting wool off the sheep. That's uh, not going to kill kill some of these. Actually, they're not going to give me any wool because they've just been cheered. Um, how many wool have I got? I've got one. Um, 
I have to pick up a black wall. Oh dear. Um, this is the house of Gisela and Richard Otvard. Um, cheap here. Sorry guys, but I'm, I'm killing your sheep because uh, the bad things will be here soon. This looks like uh, a main building for French guys. It seems to be the same as uh, the one we had in our other place, but uh, you can see on uh, the main building of any village um, there is a sign with the name of the town, uh, which is Saint Philbert, the type of the town, which is uh, Les Pateurs, which I assume means farming village, pastures maybe. Um, well, Vicarage Agricole, Agricultural Village, and the population is nine. But, uh, oh, hello, there's some, uh, some some turtles in here, which uh, brick it and go inside their shells when you get too close. Um, and this one we can actually upgrade, but I um, don't think we want to get too involved in that right this instant, because I could do with... Um, do with uh, making a bed and going to sleep and maybe having a break between episodes so um, just make my own chest and just dump all my crap in here for a second I've got a diamond from something maybe I got that from uh, that diamond armor guy I killed um, what we're going to need, we're going to need that and wool so I hope these guys don't mind, I'm just kind of making myself at home, very literally. With the turtles. Valborg Forstein will be right there to sell us some stuff. But, uh, I think we'll stop there, and next episode then we'll uh, try and work out how to upgrade the villages and go from there, so see you then.